This is Heather Stevenson, Project Coordinator at the Lomas Group. This tutorial will teach you how to manipulate photos in your publisher templates. For this demonstration, I will be using Publisher 2013. I have organized my real estate folder into categories so that I can easily find my files. I keep my templates in the Marketing folder. You can see that I have different folders in my Marketing folder for various items. You'll notice that you received three versions of your templates. The margins version has an extra quarter inch white border around all the outside edges to ensure nothing is cut off when printed on home or office printers. The bleeds version has an extra amount of design space beyond the finished page size to ensure printing over the edge of your page. The bleeds versions are the files you will want to send to a commercial printer where they can print all the way to the edge. The full page version is just as it sounds. This is the full finished size. This will only print well on a printer that can print all the way to the edge of the paper or on a printer where you can select a shrink to fit or fit to page option to ensure nothing is cut off. Today I will be editing a house flyer in my publisher full page folder. The very first thing I'm going to do after opening my template is to save a copy to my sellers folder for the house that I will be advertising. By saving a copy, my template will not be changed, which means it will be ready for the next time I need to create a flyer. To save a copy, I will use the Save As option by selecting File and finding Save As on the left-hand side. Since I have my real estate folder on my computer, I am going to select Computer. From there, you will need to find the path to the folder of which you wish to save. My real estate folder is on my desktop. So I will select Desktop, My Real Estate Folder, Sellers, Not Listed Yet, 123 Main Street. I would change the name for search purposes to 123 Main Street Flyer and then hit the Save button. Before you get started working on our publisher templates, there are a couple of things you should know how to do. First, let's talk about the ribbon. The ribbon, which appears at the top of the page, is used in all Microsoft Office 2013 programs, Excel, Publisher, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Access. The different tabs display commands in a series of icons. Another thing you should know how to do is zoom in or out. To zoom in or out of your file, look for the plus or minus button on the bottom right hand side of your screen, or slide this up or down. Let's take a look at the View tab on the ribbon. Here you will see we have some options that we can check or uncheck. I'm going to check the Boundaries box. When I do that, you'll see the view of my flyer has changed to show me the layout of editable items. This is helpful to know which items can be edited. When we build your templates in Publisher, we usually put a few items on what's called the Master Page. When they are on the master page, they cannot be changed unless you go to that master page. That ensures that your branding will remain intact even if you move or change other items in your file. Okay, let's change the main photo to our new listing. Like we always say here at the Lonus Group, right click is your friend. Changing a photo is as easy as right clicking on the photo of which you would like to change and selecting the change picture option. When selected, a box will pop up as your computer will need to know where your photo is located on your computer. Since I have saved my new listing photos in a file on my computer, I'm going to select Browse under the From a File section. Then I will select Sellers, Not Listed Yet, 123 Main Street, Photos. I will find the photo that I would like to use instead, click on it to select it, and click the Insert button. If you have trouble with finding the correct path to your photos, there is another way to replace photos that may be easier for you. For this option, I will need to open the folder that contains my listings photos. To demonstrate this method, I will split screen by right-clicking on my toolbar and selecting the side-by-side -side option. To make sure you can see your whole flyer again, just click on the View button and click Whole Page and it will come back and you can see the whole thing. To change the picture this way, all you have to do is click on the picture and drag it over and drop it on the box of the picture you want to change. And that is it. It's as easy as a drag and drop. 
When you work with templates, they are already formatted. You may run into a situation where you have a portrait-oriented photo that needs to fit into a landscape-oriented place. I'm going to use a drag-and-drop method to show you one way you can deal with different oriented photos. Here I have selected a portrait photo and I am dragging it to the landscaped photo. When I drop the photo, you will see that it is outlined with thick black lines and you can also see what the photo will look like if I were to leave it in this position. When I place my cursor over the photo, you see that I have crosshairs, which means I can manipulate this photo to show the part of the photo that I want in my flyer. The watermark looking part of the photo will disappear once I have clicked away from the photo. Using the drag and drop method is the easiest way to deal with different oriented photos. I'm going to demonstrate this again, but this time I will zoom in to show it in better detail. I have selected another portrait photo to replace this landscape photo. When I click it, you'll see the thick black outlines. The watermarked part of the photo will not show once I click away from this photo, which finalizes it in place. If you decide you do not like the placement, simply click the undo button to redrag and redrop the photo. If you do not see your undo button as shown on my publisher file, try clicking the drop down menu at the top left hand side of your publisher file and click to select the items you would like shown. I suggest checking the undo, redo, and save buttons. To see what your flyer will look like without the boundary lines, click view and unselect boundaries. We always suggest you do a test print to make sure your flyer looks exactly as you intended. If you intend to send your file to a professional printer, you will want to save as a PDF or a picture. The reason for this is because your printer may not have the fonts that are used in your file and therefore will not print properly. To save as a photo or PDF, it is as simple as using the Save As option and selecting the appropriate option. I will select PDF. You'll see that I have some options as to the quality for printing. You will want to select High Quality or Commercial Press. This concludes the tutorial on manipulating photos in Publisher. If you have any questions, please send an email to support at thelonusgroup.com. Thank you for watching.